everybody, Radical Gardener. Well, it is gorgeous out, but it is hot and humid. And we are only sitting in May. So, and I ruined a bunch of seeds. I left them out in the rain. Um, it wasn't time to plant them. So I, I've been getting my seeds from Asian Garden and then the new, number two table, Asian Garden to table. And they're a seed company down here in Florida. You ought to check out her channel. That woman can make anything grow. Oh my God. You know, it's not that easy in this heat. And um, oh, she's really good, really good. So I, I keep vowing that I'm going to watch her channel from like her very first, uh, you know, posting to now and learn everything I can, but I never seem to get around to it. All right. So I was going to walk through the garden and show you some solutions, but honestly, it's just a little bit too hot. So I will, I won't do it tomorrow. I have company coming tomorrow, but I will do it on Friday. Um, but I have the second show that we did with Diamond, so I'm going to post that below in descriptions. Um, so there you go. Um, but I am going to read a little bit in this book. So this is, there are so many aha moments through this. And, you know, I'm one of those people that I've been around this kind of thinking for so long I mistakenly think, well, I, you know, I kind of know how it all works and, you know, I pretty much, you know, kind of know a lot about that. And then when I read this, I realize, oh, wait a minute, there's knowing and then there's knowing, right? So this is about wisdom and how accessible it is. Okay, so... You have all invested such expression in the path of struggle that nothing is meritful unless it is hard won. My dog is jumping all over me. I can't believe it. That you cannot realize that wisdom is free. Wisdom is an inheritance. It may be called. There is universal wisdom that is all around you that you may be tuned into like a radio when you align to your own wisdom. So if you consciously align to it, it's everywhere. It's all around you. You are aligning to yourself as a conduit for wisdom so you may be expressed in wisdom. When you are reactive, when you are frightened, when you are angry, you are never in your wisdom. You are operating in low vibration and you must attend to that so that you can go forward in a higher way. Is wisdom available at a low vibration? Of course, but it is unlikely you will hear, you will hear it or know it because you are being precluded by the lower thought forms that you are engaged with. And that is always the temptation of the one who goes upward. You know that you will be caught in a struggle of lower vibration that you have attended to for so long that you believe it must still be here. If you look at a woman on the street and you ascribe a history to her based on her facial appearance, on her hair, and what she carries with her, you will most certainly be wrong. The first level of identification is always superficial, and most of you stop right where you start until you can look at a human being and see the infinite purpose behind them. I know who you are. I know what you are. I know how you serve. You will be in limitation, and you must know that there is always more to learn. So, humility in the face of knowledge becomes quite important. The moment you seal a jar, nothing more may be put in it. You are the jar. If you put your lid on too quickly, you will not realize what may be known. You know what I've been practicing? Judge the act, not the person who commits the act. That'll free you up. I'm here to tell you. It's totally freeing me up. So I'm not in that lower vibration of condemning people because let's face it, you know, a lot of crummy things have been happening. We know. 
hope you know what's going on, all the trafficking and all that kind of stuff. But judge the act, not the human being. It's not for us to judge. I'm not saying whether they're good or bad, whatever. It's just not for us to judge. What, Larry? Larry, can I do this, please, sweetheart? There's nothing here for you. There's nothing here. There's paper. Chew on paper. There we go. <laughs> All right. Now you perceive everything. You see the cats and dogs. You see the fish, the people, the houses, whatever is before you. And you hold within your own knowing ways of identifying these things based on cultural heritage, the names you have been given to call things, and the acceptance you have given yourself of what is true and what is not. You don't tell a 10-year-old that a giraffe is a poodle. The 10-year-old will correct you very quickly. But what happens when there is a new creation, something that has not yet been named, that would enter into the field? How do you identify it? How do you accept it as true? When you have a new ideal, a new thought, a new possibility that has not been claimed or made manifest in form, you idealize the possibility. There may be great things in the ethers that I do not know yet, but you do not align to them as a reality because you do not have the tools and the ability to claim them. So we have all this stuff that is that is available to us and that is right here but we're not at the right frequency to see it feel it or hear it doesn't that just i mean the reason i'm doing these books and these books are kicking my ass i mean there's like a there's been days and dr snell's doing it too and there's days i i can't budge i can't do anything because my frequency is getting so jacked up and my body has to assimilate it. So these books, meaning the Paul Selig books, there's seven of them. This is book number three. I said Gretchen by the time we're on seven. We're not even going to be on, you know, we're going to be in some other dimension. Sweetie, what do you want? Sweetie? What? Is that a hound dog or what? What, hon? You want to go out? Sorry, you guys. That's what I like when you have a dog. Go on. Come on. Let's go. Come on, Larry. Come on. Let's go. Here. You go. Okay. Okay, we better wrap this up pretty quick. <laughs> but isn't that amazing? So then here it says... This does not mean that the equation the equation does not add up or that the words on the page that have not been translated for you are not glorious and wonderful. They may well be, but because you cannot attend to them through your perceptions, you have to be able to perceive it. You will never know unless you learn the new language. You learn how to add the multiplication tables and division to figure out the equation on the page. I have been saying that through all this madness in the last couple of years, maybe it's been more than that, but really, you know, what's been brought to light is that this was always about a journey inward, you know? Yeah, it's, you know, it's politics, it's that. And by the way, the word political does not bother me. I have found that people that shy away from politics shy away from relationships. I mean, it's really, oh, that's all politics are. They're just, it's just opposing views or views that aren't, but it's just, you know, people expressing opinions. That's what politics is. I mean, I used to be really afraid of it. Never want to talk about it. Everybody, don't discuss politics. Why not? Why not? But I'm telling you, I've seen people that shy away from it and don't want anything to do with it. I've had friends that have backed off from me because, you know, I like to discuss it. And um, and they want anything to do with it. And it's interesting because they don't do well in relationships e either. I mean, maybe that's not always the case, but it's what I've seen, you know, within my own sphere. Um, so what was my point about that? Hmm. I'm sure there was one. I couldn't just be rambling, could I? <laughs> um, oh, yeah, the madness. So uh, so I was always, you know, I, I mean, it, it became really clear to me. Oh, 
four or five months ago, this is a journey inward, man. I better start focusing on me. This is what this is about. How do I operate in a neutral way where I can stay calm and loving and in a high frequency with all this going on around me? How can I not get caught up in it? You know, so I got to tell you what, most things on YouTube, I don't watch because nobody knows what they're talking about. And I don't mean I do, I mean they say things that they couldn't possibly prove. Uh, we're gonna have financial reset. Uh, we're gonna have good hair. We're gonna have this. You know, all of our debts are gonna be forgiven. I've seen no sign of any of that. Now, maybe they will, maybe that'll happen. But I mean, I've been listening to this stuff forever. You know, nobody has true information. Nobody has inside intel. And I'm going to tell you why I think that. My husband was special forces, ex-special forces. And those guys communicate years after they work together. So he was in special forces groups like on Facebook and what have you. And he was in special forces in the late 70s. This is when they were just putting special forces together. So he's, you know, one of the first guys that was really doing that kind of thing. And, um, and, and so whenever I would say so-and-so said this on YouTube, my husband would go, oh. he goes, if, if it is a, 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 an operation, a military operation, he said, no one knows. Nobody knows. And nobody's leaking it. He said, they don't talk. And, and he, he, there was proof of that because he was on these sites, on these Facebook sites, nobody talked about anything. Nobody. Right? Like they know how to keep a secret because it means their lives basically, or somebody else's life. You know, it's like no joke. You don't blab. So that's why I don't believe that people have this inside information. I've seen no, I've just seen no evidence of it. So anyways, my point being is that, you know, you get, end up getting caught up in all this stuff and, you know, and then you're disappointed and then, you know, and so I realized, you know, you know what, this isn't about all of that. This is about a journey inward and how to really operate in a really loving, neutral way while the madness is going on, because we are going to come out of this because it's time. Remember that it's time for us to move and shift. The frequency is lifting. It's going up. It's taking everybody with them, by the way. And, you know, some are just going to be at different levels than others. If we're willing participants, it's going to be a joy ride. It's going to be a blast. For those that don't really know what's going on, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Larry, I see you, sweetie. You guys, you've got to see this. Look at this. Larry, look at this. Okay, I better go. All right, so remember the diamond thing is below. Um, radical gardener, <laughs> my garden to yours. May your garden always grow, and I'm sending you a ton of love. You know that I am, and so is Larry. Okay, see you later. Bye.